So what happens if your parents show up tonight? First of all, as far as I'm concerned, they're not even really my parents anymore. But if they did show up, then security can deal with it. I'm not gonna let anyone pick and choose when they want to have my back, especially now that I'm having a little bit of success. But you haven't talked to them since Calgary, which was like four years ago. Maybe it's time you give them another chance. Another chance to tell me I'm wasting my life and that I'm never gonna make it? Sorry, I don't need that. Besides, I paid them back their money, so the way I see it, we have nothing to discuss. Hey, I'm not shelling out an extra 20 bucks so you two can have a therapy session. I handed her the wrench, if that counts. Also, were you listening to our entire conversation? Hey, I get it. We've all got drama in our lives. I mean, look at me. Last year, I put on a mask and attacked my former protege, Buzz, costing him a shot at WWE. Then he wouldn't return my phone calls or texts for like a year. No one wanted to work with me, and BCW folded. But... Then I stuck up for Buzz to AJ Styles. And the next thing you know, I'm in Buzz's corner at WrestleMania, and now I'm in the process of rebuilding BCW. That's a lot of very specific information. Yeah. What's your point? My point is, I turn chicken crap into chicken salad. And that's what I can do for you two if you sign exclusive exclusive deals with me and become cornerstones of the new BCW. We actually have been looking for some more stability. And putting aside all that attacking your protege stuff, you seem like a real stand-up guy, so we're in. Great! I promise you won't regret this. Sorry I'm late. Two old timers got in a fight over who called bingo first and I had to step in. But Marco said if I keep settling disputes without anyone breaking a hip, then he's gonna let me call the numbers next Tuesday morning. That's great. How's the house looking tonight? I think we might get ten people, which includes two comps I left for some nice ladies from bingo, but still not bad. By the way, pretty sweet the school let us use your office as a locker room. What's wrong? Let's see. You're a bingo hall security guard, I'm a part-time janitor at our old high school, and we're about to wrestle in front of ten people. Actually, the bingo ladies just canceled, so it's eight now. Apparently there's a ventriloquist at their senior complex tonight. That does sound better than this. We were on the path to success. We were gonna make it to WWE and achieve all these goals and maybe even end up in the Hall of Fame someday. But then we signed with Baron Blade and he ruined everything. Now all we have is a meaningless piece of paper that's just a constant reminder of how crappy our lives are. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm up for a promotion and I'm going to see a ventriloquist. You're bailing on the show? Yeah, if the entire crowd could have carpooled together, it's probably not worth it. Anyway, you just need to give up on all those dreams and then you'll feel a lot better about how things turned out. It worked for me. Man, how do they do that?
I know we failed to crack double digits in attendance tonight, but BCW's this close to turning it all around. Next show, they'll be lining up out the door, or in our case, the large hole in the gym wall that's now used as a door. I know you've seen Red and Josie Jane wrestle a hundred times, but they're the only women I can book because, well, I tricked them into signing lifetime exclusive contracts. Piece of advice, read the fine print, people. to inform you that Trey will not be appearing tonight. If you would like a refund, well, <laughs> look around. You're at the wrong show for that. is a mess how about after your match you do your job and clean it up for those of you who don't know red moonlights as a My point is, I turn chicken crap into chicken salad. And that's what I can do for you two if you sign exclusive deals with me and become cornerstones of the new BCW. <laughs> um, no thanks. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Your loss, <laughs> because FYI, I am this close to getting Cole Quinn on board. <laughs> Big things are happening. Hey, speak of the handsome devil. Let's go talk numbers, shall we? I th 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 slow your roll, Greeny. <laughs> this guy. I feel like we really dodged a bullet there. More like a cannonball. That guy's a total nightmare. And here comes another one. What is she doing here? Holy crap, is that hothead Red and Trey? You two picking up some extra work to make your trailer payments, or is this some kind of prison work release program? It's just Red now, and we're wrestling tonight. And also, we don't live in trailers. We stay in hotel rooms that have microwaves, which seemed a lot more impressive before I said it. Wait, you actually became pro wrestlers? <laughs> and I get to see your uncoordinated bodies flop around this ring tonight? <laughs> She's got good lungs. Of course I do. I'm an elite MMA competitor. If you haven't heard, the American hero Brooklyn Von Braun is undefeated. More like American Zero. What's that? Nothing. You realize Kurt Angle's already known as the American hero, right? You probably should ask him for permission to use his nickname like Ronda Rousey did with Rowdy Roddy Piper. Kurt Ankle? Never heard of him. If anything, he should ask me permission to use my name since I'm way more famous. I'll chat with my lawyer about it. Thanks for the heads up. Why are you here? You're obviously not a pro wrestling fan. No. Gross. There's a ceremony after your stupid show to rename the gym in my honor. The town sign wasn't enough? It wasn't. I actually wanted it bigger. Couldn't you have picked 
any other night to do this? Do you think I chose to share my special night with a professional wrestling event? That'd be like eating a giant bowl of turd soup before having the best steak of your life. I have a loaded schedule and tonight was my only avail. And how much longer would it have taken to say availability? I told you I'm busy. Every second counts. I've already wasted way too much time talking to you carnies. I'll have you know, we've wrestled at several carnivals and their employees are some of the finest people around. Other than that tilt-a-whirl operator who bit me when I asked him what time it was. There's always exceptions. Cool story. Looking forward to seeing you tap again tonight, Red. You know, just like old times. Whoa, 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 whoa. You could kill someone with that. I know, that's the point. Don't let her get under your skin and ruin our night. We'll do our thing, and then she can do her stupid gym dedication. It'll be totally separate. I'm sure we won't even notice her.